Good morning everyone and thank you for joining. Just making sure I didn't trip over a wee feline shape there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's say hello to our guest teacher Dylan. Tell us a look. Laoshir Hao. Thank you very much. And to everyone joining us today, Shia San Hao. Lovely Shia to Sanha. have you with. Good, so let's open our stance please. Uh, we'll just do a little bit of winter warm-up. So we swing and pat the shoulders. Good. And you can try it with a little brush down. Just the brush. I haven't got to the patting yet down there. Good. Okay, so this is lung one that we're starting with. <clears throat> it's an acupuncture point just inside of the shoulder crease, where the shoulder crease meets the body. Good. So it helps us breathe. Good. You see, maybe the uh, light is slightly different today. Have an extra heater on. Keep going, please. Will I let someone else in? I'm starting to think I should. Whoops. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to take a kidney and bladder exercise. So we turn and push the heel out and push the heel out. Good. And we still go to the lung one point with the upper hand. The lower hand swings around the back, as you can see there with Dylan, and pats the kidneys. Pushing the heel out stimulates the kidney, the kidney, <laughs> the kidney meridian. <laughs> Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm spoonerizing, spoonerizing these days. Good. Okay. Nice wee exercise. Digging cats in the background. Sorry about that. Good. Okay. All right. Next exercise is for stomach, spleen and liver and gallbladder. Okay, so we start again as we did the first time with the lung points, then we brush the legs at the front, brush the legs at the back and slap the thighs. So one up, three down. So we go up, one, two and three. Up, one, two and three. Up, one, two. Good, keep going. I always think of Gentlemen in later hosen when I do this. You know the German yeah. slapping dance? Yeah. Yeah. What's it called? In Tyrol. Tyrol. Is that a place? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Is it vaguely martial or I just like slapping each other? Okay. <laughs> Good. So, percussion or tapotement, if you like, helps the circulation, helps us to feel nice and warm and get the warmth into the hands. Good, so if we rest now and just let your hands dangle, check your posture, breathe and feel into your body. You maybe notice that there is some tingling, buzzing, maybe even warmth going on there. <sighs> Jane, before we go on, will I connect the internet cable? Oh, yes, please. Connect the internet cable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're relying on uh, Wi-Fi at the moment, um, but my Wi-Fi has, our Wi-Fi has played up a little bit of late, so Willem uh, very dutifully fed a cable through to the kitchen. So, uh, especially in this weather, I think it's, it's um, really good to connect. Apologies, I forgot. Okay, so we're going to go all the way through. Thank you very much. That's great. Well done. Hopefully the connection won't break. No, I, don't. Change it over. I think we're okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yes, we're going to go all the way through our master lock style practice. What does that say? Everybody can still see us? Yeah. yeah. Yay. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> it worked. Okay, all the way through the master lock practice. So that's Seven stars and rotations, qigong, phoenix and graceful clouds of blessing and immortals. And I think today 
we could do it as practice in silence. What do you say? We'll just flow beautifully through the whole thing. Now, if the wheels completely fall off, by all means, you can, you know, wave me down. Um, but let's try it. Okay, so we're just going to actually, before we start, we'll go into Wuji with our heels together and our toes a little bit apart. And we just lengthen up. And calm down. listening behind beautiful let's open bringing the feet parallel Um, Bill, could you do the back view for me? Would that be okay? Thank you. Okay, are we ready? Check posture. Calming down. Ah. Start. Is that a centering? Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Movement to Change direction.
Um, take one step back, please. Thank you. Relax to center. And Centering again. To your southeast.
Qu'est-ce que tu veux Done. Just take a moment, breathe and relax. I'm going to turn one of these legs so. out. Into our Phoenix form. You see, we cat bathing in front of the halogen heater <laughs> just off the screen. Okay, Phoenix form. <clears throat> One side or two? We're going to do both sides. Okay. I'm actually thinking maybe I should just do back view as well. I think it might be less confusing. You guys all know what you're doing, so let's try. Coming down. Ready, start,
Oh yeah, sorry. We'll move back. Keep the position. Left hand scoops under, continue. Good, well done. <clears throat> Take a moment, everybody, just relax, breathe, see how you feel. <clears throat> how would you feel about doing that again, but this time a bit quicker? Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, yeah, a bit quicker. Uh, Tony, I can't see. <laughs> Your hand was off the screen, so I saw your hand was off. And not Tony, sorry, Eric. Was that a thumbs up? Oh, it was good, okay. Okay, I don't know about you, I'm warming up. Maybe we could turn off the extra heat. Sorry, Kat. Um, 
<laughs> made some interesting shadow work. Okay, so once more, please, everybody, the phoenix on both sides, and this time we'll go a little bit quicker. Willem, are you happy to set the pace, or would you like yeah. me to go? Yeah, it works better because you're taller, so being in the distance, yeah. you fit in the screen. Yeah. Just, okay. Just let me know if you want it faster or slow. Well, a bit faster than that. Yeah, yeah, but as, <laughs> as, as we go. As we go, we're fine. You can, you can set it. Um, I would say... Uh, not quite double the speed, but a bit, a bit quicker. Are we ready, everyone? Come on, screen, not quite. Well, you can set the the start. You getting ready? And let's begin. Something like that, Hold this is your yeah, yeah, reset.
<clears throat> Very good. Well done. How did you cope? <laughs> okay. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent. So um, you'll notice that when we speed things up, uh, it gives more room for self-expression as in actually the way Willem emphasizes certain moments probably wouldn't be quite the way I would emphasize those moments when I speed it up. If I was in front and led it, it would have been a little different, but that's self-expression within the form. And I had a conversation the other day with a colleague about this, um, that there is form work, that is set practice, and there is freestyle. And often we think, well, when it's form, we have to do exactly what we're told. And yeah, we do. Okay, fair enough. Um, and then there's freestyle that you can do whatever you like, as long as it fits in with the remit of Tai Chi, keeping center, sorry, keeping structure, moving from center, uh, having the martial alignment so that it all works martially. But actually within, it's yin and yang, within the form, even though it is a set form, there is room for self-expression. In fact, I think it's vital to have some self-expression. Not only is it vital, it is, what's the word, inevitable. You cannot do the form without expressing yourself um, because we're not cookie cutters. We are individuals. We all have a unique body shape and frame. So, um, so when we play with the tempo, when we play with the speed, that is a really useful way that uh, we're keeping. We, we don't actually have to change anything at all in the choreography, but our expression of when do we um, assert a particular posture and stretch it out and when do we flow um, more freely uh, that, that can that can change the expression hugely. Uh, so you can keep it very steady. That's self-expression as well. You can rattle it out or you can give it little bits of surging and more calm, a bit more like Chen style and the wind up and release. And um, so everyone's individual practice will necessarily be different. So when I'm following Willem to try and give a cohesion, it'll look one way. If he was trying to follow me, it would look another way, even though we're doing exactly the same choreography. So as long as you are hitting all the bases, as long as you are actually completing each movement before starting the next, uh, and as long as you aren't sporadically shifting your uh, energy, but you're letting it flow, you can stretch things out as much as you like, and you can speed a movement up as much as you like. Um, so it gives a lot of room for self-expression. And uh, first of all, get the cookie cutter uh, choreography, but then feel free to make it your own. Uh, I don't mean change the choreography necessarily, though if you know what you're doing, you can play with that as well. Um, but feel it and embody it, embody the practice. Notice how your body wants to express the practice as opposed to just, well, I'm told to do this and then I'm told to do that. Do you have any input on that? Um, yeah, I always find, for example, when the energy goes up, that's easy for me, it comes up quite naturally. When the energy goes down, it takes longer for me. So naturally in the postures where we're scooping, okay, no problem. But here I just need to take my time to fully settle into that position and feel the energy connects through the legs, through the feet, everything. Beautiful. So yeah. that just makes me slow down more on the downward movement, yeah. for example. Yeah. Very good. And that's quite natural, actually. That is very in-fitting with the natural flow of energy. If you know about the basic um, circulation of qi, we have three main meridians that we play with in Open Door 5. So we have the governing channel that starts at the Dandian and it goes, the energy flows down between the legs all the way up the back over the head and keeps flowing until just underneath your nose. So that's one channel, the energy rises. And then we have a much shorter channel which goes from just underneath your nose, and the conception channel, and it directs the energy back down to center. So actually, necessarily, our energy rises a lot quicker than it falls. We breathe in, the energy's up, 
we breathe out the energy like a feather naturally gently floats down so often in settling movements it could be quite natural for you to feel the urge to really take your time and sink into it it is possible to sink and go uh, it's intention based so you see if you watch the master master uh, master chen there recently if you were in training with him i would take my time in preparation for punch to really find my center relax and connect and make sure all my alignments there and then punch but if you saw master chen he knew exactly where the energy was going he could get it there instantly just with a single thought so he didn't pause at all before punching and I felt the I was used to taking my time but when in Rome do as the Romans do so I was attempting to copy the master relax to center punch and it is doable it is absolutely doable so we have our natural flow like Willem was saying he naturally finds his energy rises easily fast but he takes his time to sink release and find center that's absolutely perfect that's grand but it's just as good if you can go into center quickly if you have that release down through your conception channel you can do it at a moment at a moment's notice just center and move on so it really does lend itself to vast arenas of self-expression and there's nothing wrong as long as you're hitting the choreography and you understand the principle energy expands energy returns to center it is like a breath and it moves with our breath often uh, but that is our tai chi expression in all directions energy expands energy returns to center so if you keep doing that you can set the tempo, you can set the rhythm to a certain extent, you can really um, bring yourself into the practice and not just tick boxes as you go through the form. Okay, so let us move on now to our immortals. Should we do it together? Yeah, yeah? let's do the immortals all the way through. Sorry, I hope I didn't get you keep you standing for too long you can do a little bit of a march to <laughs> get your energy up <laughs> and we will do our immortals all the way through i think we've just about time to do it twice but we'll do it once relatively steady relatively slowly first just to get our feet again villain if you'd like to set the pace
Good, well done. Lovely. Wow, that was quick actually. <laughs> so it's quite a, quite, uh, quite a fast form. Um, okay, let me just pull the, um, the blinds here because the sun is up and yet more shadows are appearing. Um, so again, you can really express yourself through timing and through what to draw out and what not to. And actually what I'm attempting to do with Willem is slightly different from what I'm asking you to do. Because we're practicing together and I want to, you to see clear movement and precision without any distraction. If there's two people showing you together, I feel we should be as close as possible to doing exactly the same thing at the exact same time. So it's kind of like synchronized Tai Chi. And when you have performance, that's what you want. If you have a group performing, everybody wants to be together. So again, the opposite of what I've just been talking about, when you have self-expression, self-expression is great when you're practicing on your own, or if you're in a class, say for example, where self-expression has been encouraged, but when you're doing a performance together, we actually want the opposite. We want everyone doing the same thing at the same time with the same expression, because that way there is a beautiful uh, cohesion and it's one thing, one unit, one energy moving everyone together. So uh, much as that's what I'm aiming for when, we, when we're showing you, actually, we don't practice that <laughs> when uh, on the odd times that we get a chance to practice together and um, we're not focusing on being one entity moving as one we're practicing on uh, polishing our own thing so um that's something else as well i think we've just about time to do it once more shall we do it just a tinge quicker i think that was already quite fast um, as Tai Chi goes, but we'll just let it flow a little bit more. Um, you don't have to worry about doing it exactly with us. Mind you, that is one way to polish, and it is how um, our teacher Jill uh, trains when, when the masters are here with her. She just tries to absolutely um, mimic every little gesture and if you look at the master and you look at her you can see they're in sync and that's a really good way to learn if you can sync up with the leader um, then then you'll you'll take on their properties without even realizing it so that's definitely one way to work um, so let's give it a go I'm going to try and copy you again <laughs> or do you want to copy me I don't mind I don't mind I'll copy him <laughs> I'm more used to copying him than him copying me. Okay, so let's go again a little bit, a little bit smoother, running tiny bit faster, but relax, enjoy, let yourself dance the moves out. Could you move just a little to the right, please? Thank you. Okay. In Willem's time then. Get ready. And
Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. So it's not easy, is it, <laughs> to sync with another person, to go absolutely with them. I know I'm far from perfect at it, but it is a very good practice. It's another aspect of our practice that we can do. So today we're kind of exploring this concept of yin and yang. There is expressing yourself and following your own uh, intuition of how the energy wants to flow through your structure and wants to flow through the form, through the choreography. And then there is group work you could call it in ballet, we call it core. And in the core, the worst thing you can do is stand out in the crowd. You want to be part of the background, really. You want to be one homogenous unit that is working together. And that means to be absolutely tuned into each other and working as a team. And it has a very different energy. And yet, they're both really good Tai Chi. Tuning into yourself and working with your own energy and expression and tuning into others and working with them. So if you're all truly doing that, actually, it's not one person leading. It's the entire group as a collective thinking, feeling and moving together, which has its own huge power and has a very healing aspect to it as well. It makes us feel connected and part of the society around us. Um, as well as just feeling supported in every way that if you get lost or confused, everyone around you is doing exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. So you don't miss a beat. You just check in with them. Oh, yes, that's it. And you can carry on. So there's definitely it's a whole other side of Tai Chi to just learn the moves, do the moves. <laughs> you know, there's do you listen to your own little drummer boy inside you or do you work as the orchestra? together. So thank you so much for leading the way, Willem. <laughs> Did you feel that I was trying to copy you? Yeah. I mean, of course, we're always trying to move as a team. A class always tries to move together. But sometimes I see students that want to go slightly ahead to prove to themselves that they know what they're doing. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'd rather they went ahead in their minds, just the next movement, but stayed with the group from the actual physical expression and that way you know yourself that you know what you're doing but you're not distracting uh, or confusing people around you because if someone goes ahead then the likelihood is that others will go oh they're leading and they'll go faster too and it creates disharmony within the group so it's good to move together when in a class we can think of it as pushing hands if you do pushing hands exercises you know there's going to be an end to your stroke but if jane is not pushing yet i'm not going back this is the end of my stroke so i'm just hanging out here that's fine when she pushes i go with it yeah so same in the form you kind of know what's coming but as jane says physically go with the group brilliant okay thank you very much let's have a little warm down everyone just a little turn I hope you did warm up. I did, but I can feel the cool. <laughs> it wants to come back, doesn't it? So as soon as you finish class, folks, I recommend you wrap up warm or if you're um, heading for the shower, get into the nice warm shower, get yourself dry, get wrapped up again. Don't let yourself get cold in the first place. It's much easier to stay warm than to warm up again after getting cold. Down to the legs, please knees, lower legs, ankles and feet, and up the body again, shoulders, good, back to centre, and can we just lift the hands and just do a bit of a frenetic wobble, a bit faster than normal, just let everything go wobbly wobbly, shaky shaky shake. By Bing Xiao, 100 ailments go away and swing down. <sighs> Let everything return to calm. <sighs> Let go. And scoop that energy up, direct it back to your center.
Breathe and feel down into that lovely oasis of calm inside your belly. And feel your energy is stronger. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. It's a lovely way to start your day, this Black Friday, that they call it. <laughs> so we'll say thank you. <laughs> thank you to our guest teacher, Willem. It's lovely to have you. Yeah. Lao Shirho and thank you, Shia Samhao and Lao Shirho. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Wrap up, stay warm, and we we'll see you. Thanks for joining.